Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and to all my current subscribers. Welcome back. Again, appreciate you guys' support. Really appreciate that. Help out this channel. I got today I got with me uh my mystery rod. I call it my mystery rod because I'm drop shotting uh, live and you normally drop shotting uh, some sort of live bait and today it's going to be a, uh, earthworms and uh, that's why I call it mystery rod because I just pretty much dead stick that thing all day and I never know what I'm going to get at the other end <laughs> so because I'm sure we all can agree that everything eats earthworms so I'm not sure what I'm going to get when that thing starts tripping yeah and, and then I'm going to on my second rod i'm just going to be uh, targeting bass so hopefully we'll catch something it's beautiful out here i'm the only one out here i can it's so quiet you can hear crickets hear myself breathe love it fresh air all right enough with uh formalities let's go fishing inches long guys yeah it's a beast sucker out there man that thing went way out there we got an eighth ounce weight and six pound line high vis you guys can see that with about a six foot leader on her I love six pound because man it's just like an all-around line sometimes fish can be uh, really sh line shy and six pound is like the sweet spot for me. In my experience, it's not too uh, light, it's not too heavy. And I can really chuck it out there when I need to. I love how it uh, reels in. Okay, engage a secondary drag. See what happens. Setting up my second rod. I'm in a, uh, my lake, guys, if you're not familiar with Pine Flat, we do have tarantulas here. Because <laughs> we caught one uh, several months ago. And you see it on my older trailer, if you want to look at that. Way back when I just opened up the channel. But, yeah, there's tarantulas here and I just, uh, I make sure all my zippers on my backpack is closed up because I don't need one of those crawl in there and me not knowing and I take it home or something and I open it up and get a surprise yeah I don't want that to happen guys I'll be screaming like Harry in Home Alone we got a bite here guys let's check this out already didn't even get a chance to cast my other rod yet Whoa, 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 whoa. He's a fighter. Good size. I'm assuming he's a catfish, guys. I don't know. He's fighting pretty good, but catfish do fight. <coughs> but I think a bass would have ran with it. Kind of multitask here to grab my net. I wasn't really ready for it yet. There he is, guys. Trying to tire him out. Calm down. Calm down, little man. Don't make it hard on me. And on yourself. There he is. He ain't a real big one. Uh, he's a uh, good size. Let me uh, wait till you calm down here. Yeah, I know you got your spikes all sticking out. I know you mad. He 
another channel cat, guys. These uh, circle hooks are <laughs> still. There we go. They're not the easiest thing to. Yeah, for those of you who have who don't know, and I've said this before, these uh, the smaller catfish are more dangerous in regards to these uh, spikes right here, or whatever you want to call them, because they um, they're sharper than the bigger ones. As they get bigger, they get duller. But I always like to grab them by the belly. And some of you guys already know how to handle catfish, but I'm just putting this out there for those of you who don't know. Yeah, you got to watch out for these, and the smaller they are, the sharper they are. Going to catch and release this little guy. He's vibrating. <laughs> He's like sending Morse codes to all his buddies. Okay, catch and release. Wash them off a little bit. Yeah, see? Trying to do you a favor, man. There he goes. Well, at least got the skunk off my back. Now let's see if we can catch us some bass. I was able to uh, salvage my worm. He didn't get that lucky. A lot of times they steal my worm. Throw it in the same spot because I know there's nothing there to snag on. <laughs> That's the thing about throwing, uh, trying to discover a new spot. You don't know what's down there or what you're going to encounter. Tighten up my line, get rid of that slack, engage a secondary drag. Okay. Let's try this spot right here. Yeah, fish moves all the time. And uh, when you get a spot that's hot, not so hot the next day. And uh, I know some of you inquiring minds want to know why I'm always drop shotting and don't use any other lure. Well, um, there's a lot of um, peeps in my area that I follow too on YouTube. And uh, everyone else uses, you know, topwater baits, ploppers, crankbaits, buzz baits, spinner baits, you name it, they use them all. And actually that's like 90% of the anglers use those. So I'm just trying to be different because um, drop shot is long, long forgotten to a lot of people. It's the last thing on their mind to try. And uh, I just want to show everyone that you know it's not extinct it still works a lot and it works all year around but I'm just trying to be different and maybe because sometimes fish will go after something they don't see every day you know and they they see constantly all the other types of lures so I'm trying something different and hopefully I get that prehistoric bass that's been down there forever and too smart for anything else <laughs> Fish on. Probably a catfish. <laughs> I feel like bass. Oh. Burst of energy right there. Yeah, I think it's a channel cat. He's really pulling. He's mad. Come 
Calm down. There he is. He's still not done. <laughs> I'm gonna tire him out. You done? Are you done playing? Ugh. It's gonna flip him, but heavy little guy. Get you fat. He's a fighter. He was not going to give up. You weren't going to give up, were you? There it is. Make sure your barbels are okay. And little whiskers <laughs> channel cat guys I'm under the impression that you can uh, classify it or know what kind of catfish it is just by the um, if it's a fork tail or if it's rounded and by this little thing I don't know what this is called but I know like a blue cat is more rectangular right here and this is rounded I don't think we have a blue cat here in a pine flat, but just saying, what do I know? I'm learning as I go too. Catch and release. Thanks for the show. There he goes. All right. Let's get this back out there. Wheel in the slack. It's the secondary. Whenever I'm out here, guys, I always take a moment to reflect. Smell the fresh air, hear the birds sing. Just enjoy Mother Nature and everything she has to offer. Yeah, so it's the best advice I can give you. There's a lot of things going on in the world today. Pack your things, get out to the lake, and just go out fishing for a day. The guy needs that sometimes. It's how I keep saying. Just moving around, guys covering water it's what I normally do first thing in the morning that's where you get all most of the bites I didn't get a bite since I last catch fish well I've been getting nibbles but they're just dings I'm trying to stay away from them so I kind of cover as much water I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how you do that with a drop shot well majority of the time they catch it on the fall so what I do is I just constantly cast where I think they're at and they normally will hit it on the fall. Don't even get an opportunity to uh, let it touch the ground. And I'll, I'll stay there for a, a minute at the most once it hits the ground. 
And if I don't get anything, I just reel it in and cast it again in a different spot. I cover as much water as I can. No, just like no different from any other lure. So you're not covering as much water as like a whopper popper or something like that. But it's not impossible. You st it still can be done with a drop shot. And uh, I also take this opportunity because the tide is going down. It's a good opportunity to go on a scavenger hunt. We just walk around the the um, the sides here and see what I can find. Cause you'll find uh, people snag on stuff like this. Cause you see this tree? It was originally underwater and now it's surfaced. Yeah, people snag on stuff like that, including myself. <laughs> Cause like I said, you ain't snagging, you ain't fishing. But you never know what you'll find. Lures, car keys to a new car. I just go on a scavenger hunt. And wow, look here. That's what I'm talking about. Found me a nice net. Right guys, last cast. Gonna call it a day. We're approaching triple digits. And I'm melting. It's really hot out here. It's all cats today, no luck on bass. But anything's better than getting skunked, right? So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. I'd appreciate it if you share with family and friends. That would really help me out on my channel. In the meantime, tight lines and see you on the next one. What? Snag again? You got to be kidding me. This early in the morning? And just remember, you ain't snagging, you ain't fishing. Got one guys, fish on. Feel like a dink though, but it's bass.